This is a Ionium Sunburst Copper Pinwheel. It is a succulent with a variegated foliage, as you can see here. There's some pink margins on the edge. And a uh, beautiful little plant, one to two feet tall and wide. And um, really good for coastal conditions. Uh, see these a lot in San Diego, LA, Santa Barbara type of area. They're only frost hardy down to about 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So as you start to move inland, they become a little dicey. So if you're coastal, these are great. Um, also very low water, most succulents are. So these are very drought tolerant, native to the Canary Islands. And um, the flower I'm about to show you is not the flower for sunburst specifically. This is an Aeonium uh, bloom, in bloom, but uh, I wanted you to see the form of the flower. Apparently sunburst is a white flower. I haven't seen this variety in bloom. But I also want you to know the legginess at the base of the plant there. And that's what can happen with aeoniums. You're going to see these close-ups. These are in containers. But uh, one of two of these have a bare stalk. And then they have this floret of foliage up on top. And that's pretty typical of aeoniums. And one of the things I don't love about them, honestly, is I don't like the leggy nature of this big stalk. See the base of that one right there on the left? Um, whereas these have been cut, and so see how the leaflets are all bunching around the base here? So that's what I'm getting at here, is you've got the one big head on top, and then you've got the base there. And I like to prune these back. There's the bare stalk. And, um, get a fuller plant. So one of the things to consider when using these is um, just every so often as you see that bare stalk start to appear, I think it's a good idea to cut them back and get them to bush out at the base better for you. The flower, uh, I'm sorry, the foliage is amazing. That's what the, the interest point is for this plant. It's not about the flower. It's this great foliage that in, it, in its own right looks like a flower and a very interesting one or loads of flowers, as you can see here. So in design, uh, pair very nicely with other succulents, lower succulents, kind of use this as a, uh, a specimen uh, plant inside a small vignette of planting or even in pots. I think they're really ideal in pots. And um, yeah, coastally, now they like full sun. They can take filtered shade, but if you're near the coast, it's probably not that hot anyway and uh, they're going to prefer full sun to look their best and color up their best. I know that's true with a lot of variegated plants. Um, it is evergreen, and um, the bloom time is during the summer. So um, I think that's about it. Drought tolerant, and uh, again, only hardy down to around 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool little plant, you know. My As a designer, I like self-sustained plants that have as much year-round interest as possible. And this one certainly fits the bill there. You know, it's relying on bloom cycles is off and on, and it's not that reliable. Plus, most bloom cycles don't last that long. So any time in design that I can get a plant that's interesting all year, um, I'm loving that plant. And this is certainly one of those. I think the only downside to this one is uh, just kind of the gawky nature of it at times when it gets older and gets a little extended. So if you're going to use these, prune them back a little now and then and enjoy. That is Aeonium Sunburst Copper Pinwheel.